Um, so we're gonna. I'm gonna give you an introduction. That we have so many guys. No, I don't know. So well, we're gonna we're gonna just we're gonna start with prayer because I'm. <laughs> I start to pray. Things can change a little bit. Um, I thought I'd just do the introduction. Have I covered everything? Uh, right? Oh yeah, parking. Okay, if you want your car towed away, just park someone there. <laughs> <laughs> or park in front of an entrance or like that, you know, someone's garage or something. Like just so just the normal rules apply at some end. People come to Christian events and then they think you know, I'm Christian, I can just park people in, park in front of other people's garages. It's not going to work. There's still police and everything. <laughs> so just make sure that your car's not um, breaking any uh, laws. You know, because you can't help it if they tell your car. Alright, so cover that one. Okay. <laughs> um, Alright, that's it. So, so Father, we come to you now in the name of Jesus. And we just bow before you. And we just say, we love you. You are daddy. And we thank you for this day. This is the day that you have made and we will rejoice. We just surrender everything to you now into the blood of Jesus. Let's just surrender. There's many things going on in your head or thoughts coming in your mind. Let's just surrender every thought to Jesus. We just surrender to you, Father, right now in Jesus' name. I just bind every influence of the enemy right now. I bind every distraction. I bind fear, anxiety, stress, discouragement, depression. I bind you now in Jesus' name. I bind the influence and I stop the influence of the spirit of Jezebel, Mammon, and Moni over this meeting and everyone in this meeting now in Jesus' name. Father, you said whatever I bind on earth is bound in heaven. I thank you now you bind them in heaven. And I loose, I loose the kingdom of God in this place now, this property now. Thank you for open heaven. Uh, open heavens. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. If your phone's on, please switch it off. I mean the sound. You can put it on silent or public. Right now, in the name of Jesus. <laughs> We surrender this meeting to you and Father, we're asking you to anoint us today because kingdom business is about following you and hearing your voice. It's not about me making plans. It's not about me making money, but it's about your kingdom in the marketplace. In Jesus' name, I ask you for your anointing now upon every one of us in Jesus' name. So Lord, we just want to confess our sins before you and we ask you to wash us with your blood just confess your sins before the Lord like fear is a sin worries of is a sin if you're worrying about paying your rent or paying your employees or anything that you're worrying about just give all your cares to the Lord he says cast all your cares upon me for I care for you so Lord we give you our cares now we surrender every distraction and we just say Lord forgive us for fear unbelief doubt forgive us Lord for even being discouraged we thank you for your presence and we welcome you Holy Spirit in this place we welcome you Jesus we welcome you ever Father Come, Holy Spirit. Just ask the Holy Spirit to come and fill you. Wash us now in the blood. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, stand up. Let's stand up in praying tongues. Fill us, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He's activating. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's exactly. He says, You build yourself up. You build yourself up. Hallelujah. You pray in tongues. 
Thank you for your fire. Hallelujah. Thank you for your fire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Everything that can shake will shake. Everything that can break will break. Hallelujah. But the kingdom of God is advancing. It's advancing. It's advancing. And there's nothing that can stop the kingdom of God. We praise you for the kingdom of God is coming here in Cape Town. Hallelujah. Break open our hearts. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I can see some of you need a drink. Hallelujah, Rabbi. You guys aren't drinking enough. I can see it. Hallelujah. I'll teach you how to drink. <laughs> Very important for kingdom business, drinking. Hallelujah. <laughs> so drinking, hallelujah. The drinking is very important. It's mandatory. He says, come to me, all you who are thirsty. Hallelujah. Thirsty. Are you thirsty for Jesus? Just lift up your hands and say, Lord, come. Come, Jesus. Come, Jesus. Hallelujah. Deliver me from every bit of discouragement. In Jesus' name. Depression. In Jesus' name. Come, deliver me, Jesus. Say, Jesus, save me right now. And fill me now with your Holy Spirit. Rabbi, we're going to tap in. Hallelujah to the Holy Spirit. Seven spirits of God. According to Isaiah 11 says, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Say, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. The spirit of wisdom, understanding, the spirit of counsel, the spirit of might, the spirit of knowledge, and the fear of the Lord is in me. Upon me now. And it's essential that you operate in the spirit. If you're going to be in kingdom business, you have to learn how to receive the infilling of the spirit every single day. Lord, fill us now. Just pray in tongues. Hallelujah. 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 We praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. More, Lord. More, 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 more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. More. Just say more, Jesus. More of you. More of you, Jesus. He's come to set the captives free. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Fire. Your fire, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Now we're going to eat some fruit. I don't know how many we're going to get to today, but we're going to just start with love. Let's just receive the love of God. It says the love of God has been shed abroad in your heart by the Holy Spirit. And if, you, if you've lost the love, it's because you've shut your heart off to His love. And just open, the, open your heart up and say, King of glory, Open your arms. Ah, oh, King of Glory, come in. Come in with your love. I want to know your love, Daddy. I want to know your love, Jesus. I want to know your love. I receive your love. Robo Roko Baraka. Just receive his love right now. Thank you. Oh, how he loves me. Oh, how he loves me. Oh, just say, oh, how he loves me. Hallelujah. He died for me. Hallelujah. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for you, for your family, for your finances, for the business. He's got a plan for your ministry. He's got a plan for your life. He's got a plan for your children. That's his love. He says, I know the plans that I have for you. Plans to prosper you. Plans, plans to prosper you. To give you hope. Hallelujah. Give you a future. Just receive his love. Just think of his love. Hallelujah. Just receive his love right now. He loves you. Every single part of you. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. That's why he brought you here. Because he wants you to know that he loves you. And he loves people in business because he's called you. Kingdom business is a calling. You're not a second-rate citizen or second-rate Christian because you're in business. Hallelujah. That's a calling. And he loves 
Mm. He loves the fact that you've taken out. He loves the fact that you're, you, that you're just passionate about business. Thank you, Jesus. So, Lord, we just want to thank you for your love this morning. Just receive that love. Daddy. You know, it's Father and Sons. This is Father and Sons. Now, if you're a, a, a lady, you're also a son. So, it's okay. You'll get used to it. Like, we have to get used to being a bride. Men, you're a bride. It's quite a, so, sons. Son, you're a son in Father's house. And it's father and son's business. This is father and son's. So just receive, just receive that revelation again and again. So if you've had it, don't worry, you can get more. There's always more. His name is more than enough. So you say more, he says yes. He says more, he says yes. More. So that's one of our favorite prayers is more Lord. More of you. More of your love. More, hallelujah, you will overcome by the blood of the Lamb. Mm. Hallelujah, the word of your testimony. Your testimony is that, oh, God loves me. Oh, God loves you. Hallelujah, don't you want to know Him? Hallelujah. Receive His love right now. Love. Okay, now, next one, peace. You want to receive peace? Peace that passes? All understanding. Your mind, your understanding of things. You know, our understanding blocks us. So look, just lay down your mind. You've got to lose your head in order to get his head. He's the head. Okay? So you've got to like remove your mind and say, Lord, I remove my understanding of business today. I lay it down, your understanding of business. He wants to take you into a supernatural realm. You cannot go into the supernatural realm with your logic and your business understanding. It won't work. I can tell you now, it's taken me many years to get delivered from myself. And I'm still get still in the process <laughs> of my cleverness, of my strategies, like Jan was talking about, and all my ideas. And God says, I've got ideas that are way above your ideas. I've got ways to actually grow your business that are supernatural. And you cannot operate in the supernatural while you're still trusting in your own understanding of business. And in fact, I think one of the, the things that will limit you the most in business is your business education and your skills. So those of you that are not skilled, trained, formally in business are at an advantage because you really don't know what you're doing. So, <laughs> is that, no, don't be ugly. No, you don't know what you're doing because you're not like properly trained in, in, in strategies and things like that. But that is a blessing because you now just have to listen to the Lord and you've got to go with your gut, which you know, a lot of times your gut is the Holy Spirit talking to you. And, and the Lord has actually even blessed you because you've gone with that and you weren't ever trained as an accountant or an uh, MBA or anything like that. The ones that battle the most are the ones that, that are trained the most in business because they can't understand the supernatural. So let's just lay down our, our, our formal training. You know, I don't know if you've got degrees. Some of you got degrees. Now those degrees, they, you know when you get qualified, they put a little black hat on your head. You think it's fantastic. I think it's terrible. You know, put a black hat on. What does that mean? Okay, so you go and then you get this, this black coat like Batman. They put a black hat and you say, good, you've got to get a degree. What does that mean? You know it. So Lord, we just take those hats off now. Take the degree off. I don't know what degree. You don't want the 33rd degree. That's even worse. Okay, so, so the degrees. <laughs> I don't understand. But anyway, we don't want the degrees on our head. It limits you in the supernatural. And uh, the whole thing of degrees came from another source. So, you know, we think it's fantastic. No, I don't want a degree. Hallelujah. First degree, second degree, third degree, 33rd degree. We take it off our heads now in Jesus' name. We're not operating according to the principles and the power of Babylon. And Babylon is the key principality and it's the key that is coming against you in business. The whore of Babylon, chapter 17 and 18, you can see what happens in the judgment on Babylon. But when you step into business, this thing wants to cover your mind. So the Lord wants to re reform, transform actually your mind today. And you've got to say, Lord, I let go of my formal training. Because that my formal training did not count it in God. You understand? Cash flow projections is all very well in the natural but not in the supernatural. Seriously. It's like, can you hear me? You seriously. 
trying to tell God what he's going to do in six months. He's not too keen on that. And I, I, I know spreadsheets. I love spreadsheets and cash flows. So lay down those spreadsheets, please. I know some of you like spreadsheets. Some of you don't even know what a spreadsheet is. Good. <laughs> they are useful. And it's fine to find out what God did last year. But it's very difficult to tell him what he's going to do this year. So <laughs> plants. Oh, yeah, your plants. Please put them down. Because God's laughing. He's laughing at your plants. He's really laughing at your plants. Because it's like my child who's, David, he's like five. And he comes and draws a little picture of a house and says, look, Dad, it's all I said, sure, it's beautiful, but we're not going to build this little thing. Your plan looks like a five-year-old doing a building plan to God. He says, cute, put it on the fridge. We're not building that. And then he will show you his plans are far above your plans. So just to put that mind of yours down, the biggest limitation is our mindset, our paradigm, so we put them down in Jesus' name. God wants to bring you into the supernatural realm because before Neil and, and Johan can even, you can't even receive, you won't be able to receive unless we do this. You won't even, it'll just go right over your head. So what are they on about? What has that got to do with business? What? You understand? You're gonna, you'll miss the boat if you don't first get delivered. So I'm, I'm just, I'm just preparing the way. It's my job. Prepare the way for the Lord. Hallelujah. So put down that mindset of business. Everything you've been taught. Just say, Lord, I, I surrender it to you. And I want you to teach me today. Of heaven's pattern for business. There is a, there's a business room even in heaven. There's a business room in heaven. And it's part of the pattern for the church. There is a business room. And in that business room there's a... There's a stretch room. And all the finances for the kingdom are in the business room. And we have not yet accessed that room. And that is why the church remains poor. Is because most churches, their business room is closed. They, they don't have the business room effectively open. Every local church is supposed to have a business room. Hallelujah. Because it's like they have the children's room, the women's room, the men's room, all the ministries. But the business room is where the finances is generated for the kingdom of God and not just the finances but it's a, it's a, it's a combine harvest where we, we harvest souls in the marketplace it's God's end time strategy to, to harvest nations it's through business people not money, people people, it's not about money it's about people yes. kingdom business is about people yeah. you get it? so Father we I ask you to get, remove those things that the limitations over our minds now. Wash my mind. Say, wash my mind. Wash my mind. With the blood, with the blood of, Jesus. of Jesus. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. I want the mind of Christ. I want the mind of Christ. Concerning kingdom business. Concerning kingdom business. Remove the limitations in my heart and in my mind. Remove the limitations in my heart. Open me up to the supernatural. Open me up to the supernatural. I want to know what you are saying about business. I want to know what you are saying about business. Whoa. The first thing he says about business is his, he says to me, he says to me now to tell you, come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden. And I will give you rest. For I am meek and lowly in heart. He says, learn from me. Learn from me. I'm meek. That means teachable. Who was, the, who was teaching Jesus? Everything. The father. His daddy. So who's going to be teaching you everything? Your daddy. And Jesus, Father and Sons, He's teaching you everything. Jesus was a carpenter before He was a preacher. He understands building things. He understands business. He understands finances. There's 2,300
hundred odd scriptures that concerns money in the Bible. Unfortunately, most churches only preach on 10 or 20. And so there is so much that the enemy is hidden from us. And so, Father, today we ask you to show us what has been hidden. And we ask you to deliver us today from the spirit of mammon. Because you cannot operate in the kingdom business while you are under the spirit of mammon. Hallelujah. And, and some of you might know the teaching on the hat of mammon, but you need to go into that to understand the hat of mammon is fear, anxiety, and stress about money. When you are in fear and anxiety and stress, you're serving mammon. You're worshipping the principality. It's called idolatry. So forgive us for worrying about our businesses. Forgive us for worrying about our finances. Because you love us. That's why you look after us. So t today we thank you that we can have patience with each other. Because everyone here in this room is in a different place. So some of the things you might know already, but just hold on, we'll get to you. But there are people here that don't even ha haven't even started their business. And maybe they're an advantage because they, they don't have to go through. They can, they can go the quicker track. Because it's people like myself and Neil and Johan and others in this room that have actually been in this for many years, making so many mistakes, <laughs> so that we can come and teach you and say, don't do that. Don't save 10 years yet. Save 15 years yet. Just like this. Just with one sentence. Acceleration. That's why. Acceleration! So the Lord wants to accelerate you based on the wisdom that is in this room. And there's wisdom in the room. And there's other, others of you that have got lots of wisdom. We don't yet maybe know you personally. But that wisdom will come out as we start to meet, as we start sharing. That wisdom is coming out. It's the collective wisdom that brings the mind of Christ. Not you. You don't have the mind of Christ. We. Say we. We. Have the mind of Christ. Have the mind of Christ. Concerning business. Concerning business. The body of Christ. There are those called to, 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 to business in Cape Town. We, the church, have the mind of Christ concerning business. So can you imagine what we're we missing? <laughs> like they often say, it's not what you know that kills you. It's what you don't know. So Lord, we humble ourselves and say, Lord, teach us today what we need to know, not what we want to know. Uh, because I asked you the question, um, what's the biggest problem in your business? So I've got that spreadsheet and I've looked at it and I see what the, the, the most common issues are. And the biggest one is obviously business, you know, getting sales. Um, but that's not your biggest problem. Much bigger problem than that. We've got to get to the root issues. If the root changes, the fruit will change. We've got to get to the root issue. So we say, oh, okay, we need sales. And say, no, that, that, that's not your root problem. The root problem, I've just touched on now, the root problem is mammon. Mammon is assigned by Satan as the minister of finance. Everyone that works in the financial realm is under his authority when they submit to that principality. It's the chief opposition of God. He said you cannot serve mammon and God. So you must know. He didn't say Jezebel. He didn't say all these other principalities and powers. He said mammon. So you, you're called into business. You're called in a war against mammon. And then you're called into a war against Jezebel. Because those two are married. Yes. They have a covenant based on intimidation and fear. So when you're called into business, you are going to you're going to war against Mammon and Jezebel, and that's why you need to be armed. You need to be equipped. You need to be equipped for the work of the ministry. The work of the ministry for you is kingdom business, and you need to be armed and equipped so that you can take territory, you can take market share, which is called the lion's share. The lion's share is whatever share the lion wants, he takes. And the lion of the tribe of Judah yes. is the one that will lead you to battle Amen. and set you up in your 
domain, which is your markets and your industry, to take the lion's share. And it's not according to the greed in your heart, how much do you want? It's according to what Jesus wants you to have. Because it's His kingdom. It's not about you, your house, and your family anymore. It's about the city. It's about the nations. It's about the harvest. Because He's, he's got an agenda. And the world is an agenda. The new world order has an agenda. But God has an agenda. And His agenda is souls. 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 I want souls. And so He wants to see souls not just saved. He wants to see them discipled. So Father, I thank You that You just take the little. Remove the veil from our minds now in the name of Jesus. Remove it from our minds in Jesus' name. Receive the mind of Christ now. Today, let's depend. Let's ask the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, anoint me to hear what you say. He says, you don't need any man to teach you, but the anointing within you will teach you all things that you need to know. The anointing in you. Right? That's why I said start to pray in tongues. Some of you think, why are you praying in tongues? And don't worry if you can't pray in tongues. Hallelujah. Just pray with your understanding and then trust the Lord that He will baptize with the Holy Spirit the evidence of speaking in other tongues. And someone here can help you if you need to be baptized in the Holy Spirit. It is very important to operate fully baptized in the Holy Spirit if you want to be in kingdom business. It's not, it's not, praying in tongues is not a, a, a nice to have. It's a, you have to have it. Because you're praying mysteries. So let's pray again in tongues. Hallelujah. Because you're, we're tapping into the supernatural. We want the Lord scrolls to be released today we want to receive it not in our heads but in our hearts we want revelation knowledge today and you're not going to get revelation knowledge if you're not in the spirit you understand so that's why I'm, 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 we're pressing in here because we are not going to get where we need to go unless it's supernatural Oh yes, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Pray the mysteries of God. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit understands every word. Hallelujah. You're praying the perfect will of God now over your situation. You're praying the perfect will of God for this meeting today. This is kingdom business. Hallelujah. We're doing business now in the kingdom. Hallelujah. By the Spirit. He says it. Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit. You are not going to build a kingdom business in your own power. You can build a Christian business, but not a kingdom business. And there's a big difference. And we thank you right now. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord, for clearing the air in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Break the shackles, break the shackles, break the shackles, break the shackles. Hallelujah. The Lord, release your angel in this place. Set the cancer free. There's a lot of resistance here. We break it now in Jesus' name. The blood of Jesus. We thank you for the blood of Jesus right now. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus is over this place. The blood of Jesus is over my mind, my body, my soul. It's the anointing, the anointing, the anointing breaks the yoke, people. The anointing inside of you, the anointing in you breaks the yoke. These yokes have been attached to your body. These yokes have been attached to your business. We 